Welcome back to Let's Talk Superheroes. I'm your host, Kalel. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing episode four of the book of Boba Fett. Let's get started. Quick recap of episode three. We had the evil biker gang that wiped out all the Tusken Raiders. That was a very, very sad and emotional scene, in my opinion. Uh, but then we had uh, Boba, he got some backup. He got the bikers, the good bikers, is what I like to call them. The Huts sent Black Chrysanthemum over to kill Boba. Thankfully, he did not succeed. But once they captured him, the Huts gave him a prize of a Rancor, a live Rancor. So it'll be very interesting to see him train the Rancor. I hope we get to see him ride that thing in the season finale of the Book of Boba Fett. We also saw that the mayor, Mokshez, is working with the Pike Syndicate. But that's it for episode three. Let's dive into episode four. So we start off with this episode by seeing Boba Fett looking at Jabba's palace. He wants to get the slave one back, but then he wanders off a little bit and he finds Finnick Shand and then he takes her to the, the mechanical people, kind of the cybernetic mechanical people. I don't really know what they're called. Uh, and he fixes her up. She's all good. She's healed. They make a deal. She works for him for this one job to get his slave one back. And uh, then she'll let him go. So they return to Jabba's palace. Boba tells the Bantha to make baby Banthas. I want to see those baby Banthas. I feel like that would be so cute. But then they hatch their plan to break into Jabba's palace and retrieve the slave one. Fennec uses a really cool little orb sphere to get in there and see all of their surveillance and see what they're up to, how many guards are there. And uh, then they hatch their plan again to get in there. And uh, yeah, we see them fight off some little robots. Uh, once they get the slave one, they're kind of stuck in there for a little bit. Then the army comes in and then you got freaking Fennec Shand just sniping the heads off of all of these different creatures. And it was pretty cool. Uh, I love Fennec Shan, she's awesome. I loved uh, Ming-Na Wen in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, I also really like her in this show as Fennec Shan. And uh, yeah, man, she was sick. She was beating up all them people. She even went toe to toe with a Gamorrean guard. Uh, she really like kind of handled him fairly easy. I thought the Gamorrean guard would put up a little bit more of a fight, but they get out of there, they escape, they're all good to go. So once they get out of there, Boba has to go avenge his fellow Tusken Raiders. And uh, he basically just swoops in there like a badass, snipes all of those little pesky, well, I forget the name of the species, right off those little bikes. Then he makes his way over to the Sarlacc pit. They get pulled in, drops a freaking seismic charge in his mouth, blows him up from the inside. That was, that was pretty sick. Then our boy Boba is fully healed. He hops out of that back the tank and we're back in present day. Then we jump to Platt Chrysanthemum having a good old drink. And uh, he kinda, kinda gets a little angry and uh, he rips the arm off of the, the creature. I really should know the names of these things, but I really don't. But as Chrysanthemum's making his way out of there, Boba comes up to him and says, yo, you wanna join my team? You can do whatever you want. You just gotta protect me and kill some people. And of course he says, yeah, cause why wouldn't he want to do that? Then we see Boba having a good old dinner with the three tribes of Mos Espa. And uh, he makes a good old proposal. And in the end, with a little bit of persuasion from the Rancor, they all agree to his proposal. And uh, yeah. And as our fellow tribes are riding away in the sand dunes, we hear that iconic Mandalorian music in the background because credits can buy muscle. Do we think Mandalorian's gonna show up? If he does, that would be absolutely insane. Uh, does he still have the dark saber? Where is he at? We gonna find all that out, hopefully, in the next episode. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for my review. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I thought it was fantastic. By far the best episode. They just really finished, you know, catching us up and really set what is going to happen next and man i can't be more excited for the future of this show but uh, yeah let me know all of your thoughts and theories and opinions down in the comments below i would love to see what you all have to say and if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you get notified when i upload a video but other than that that's gonna do it for this one we'll see you next time